If you are anything like me, you cannot believe that it's gonna be Halloween tomorrow. And then Tuesday, November 1st, this year has absolutely flown by. I cannot believe that we are here right now. And uh, are you guys gonna dress up for Halloween? I don't dress up for Halloween anymore. My kids don't anymore, they're too old for that. But I do miss the times with their little cute little costumes and going around and having the little pumpkins and doing trick-or-treating. I miss those times. So if you guys are dressing up for Halloween or if your kids are dressing up for Halloween, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you or your kids are going as and what you're doing if you're doing anything special. Hi guys, it's T from Betty Brenda and <laughs> Betty and Brenda and welcome back to my channel for yet another video. So today is not going to be a video about Halloween. It's actually going to be a Christmas soap, one of many because this is Christmas season for me. And I've said it a thousand times before and I will continue to say it. I absolutely love Christmas time. It's just something special in the air to me at Christmas time. It seems like people are nicer we're loving. It's all of that family time that you get to spend together. And although my mom and sister aren't here anymore, we're going to spend the holidays with my sister from another mister. <laughs> and that's my sister-in-law. We're going to get a big family gathering together. I am looking so forward to it for both Thanksgiving and Christmas. So can't wait. Um, Today I am going to do, like I said, a Christmas soap. And I did use, I did make a soap peppermint stick to go in the soap, which I'm gonna show you at the beginning of the video. It's actually really easy, it's fun to make. The soap is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait for you to see it, it smells amazing. And if you're interested, my Christmas shop is gonna be open on Tuesday, November 1st. I have all kinds of cute little gift sets out there, all kinds of Christmas soaps. So if you are looking for anything, definitely go out to bettyandbrenda.com and click on the Christmas shop. It's all kinds of things out there for amazing prices that I'm sure you and your family will love. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you'll know every time I put out a video. And I promise I won't just do a whole bunch of soap. I'm gonna sprinkle in some other items as well for the remainder of the year. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram and or Facebook at Betty and Brenda Babco. And I'm going to hush now, going to get to the video. Let me know what you think about the soap in the comment section below as well. And I'll chat with you guys later. Um, it is a cloudy and rainy day here in the metro Atlanta area. So once I'm done, I'm going to grab me a cup of coffee, get back in my bed, cuddle up with my husband, and watch movies all day. That sounds amazing. What are you guys going to do? Have a wonderful and blessed week, and I will chat with you guys later. Bye. So I'm starting off with about a medium size little circle disc. You can choose whichever size you want for the width of the peppermint that you like. And I'm going to shape this dough so that I can fit it into my small extruder and push that down in there and then get the cap of my extruder back on there. As you see, I'm just gonna roll this out until about the length of the peppermint stick that I want. You can make it either large or small, just depending on your personal preference. And once I do the white, I am then going to do the same thing for the red. both my white and red pieces the way that I want I'm going to slowly and carefully wrap my white soap dough around my red soap dough you want to be careful here so you don't break them they are still it is soft, still soft enough that it's pliable and then I'm going to pinch those pieces together 
Uh, I want to pinch them together so when I get ready to twist it, it looks like just one cohesive piece. And once I have that pinched down the way that I want it, so they are sort of connected and one is not, the white is not kind of separating from the red or standing out from the red, I am slowly going to twist this. And again, you want to be careful here so that you don't uh, break your soap dough. So I'm going to do this carefully and I'm going to keep twisting from top to bottom until I get it to look exactly the way that I want it to. That is it. My peppermint stick is done. Um, you can cover it around if you like, or you can leave it like this. So as always, this is the part um, of my soap making that I'm going to go ahead and place my additives in here. I am adding some oatmeal today, as well as some kaolin clay. And I'm also adding some goat milk. I think this is about seven ounces of goat milk. So I am using the milk and oil method. Of course, you can make your liquid all goat milk, but that's a whole nother different process. Um, I actually prefer the oil, uh, I'm sorry, the milk and oil method. It is so much easier and it's creamier. And here is my life solution today. It is aloe vera juice. I have some sugar in here sodium lactate, as well as some tussa silk. that I'm using today does discolor. So instead of just allowing it to discolor to a brown, I am making the majority of the soap a brown color anyway, <laughs> just so I don't have to deal with the different shades of the discoloration. So that's a good tip. If your soap discolors to a certain color, um, whether that be brown, yellow, tan, whatever, I like to go ahead and add some color in there anyway, just so um, it'll look even. I am using Mocha from Nurture Soap, which of course is a gorgeous brown. And my fragrance today is called Santa's Snack. It smells delicious. It is um, or has the smell of hot cocoa, vanilla cream, and maple sugar. Oh my goodness, guys, this smells absolutely amazing. And I'm making a bath bomb to go with this soap, like in the shape of a mug that has the same scent. It is just absolutely beautiful. And most of the soap is going to be brown, but I did want to put a little swirl in here. Um, so I added some titanium dioxide because I do want this to look, you know, like hot chocolate with a peppermint stick in it.
To get my swirls today, I am using a hanger swirl technique and just taking it to the bottom and just moving it from side to side and bringing it up. To me, it makes the most beautiful swirls. It has been just about 24 hours since I made the soap and it is ready to cut. And here we are. This is the first piece of this soap. And here we got our guys. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It turned out exactly the way that I wanted to. Now the top of the soap, I did put some titanium dioxide in the frosting. Um, just a little, but it still discolored to this brown, but whatever, it is still a gorgeous soap. And the peppermint stick in there is beautiful. But I did notice while I was cutting it, my little peppermint sticks were just a little too fragile. And um, as you see here, that one actually broke. So I actually remade this whole soap <laughs> and I made the peppermint stick shorter. And the pictures of that um, are at the end, but it's pretty much the same. I just made the little soaked up peppermint stick shorter. But that is it for me. Keep watching to continue seeing the pieces in the cut. And I have pictures at the end if you'd like to see what the remake of the soap looks like. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this soap. And again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And that is it for me today. I will come out hopefully before next Sunday with another video. Have a blessed week, guys. Chat with you later. Bye.